Hey guys, Sam here. In this video, I'm going to give you my take on digital marketing. So I'm going to give you an aspect of the physical real world marketing compared to how we do it online. So it should give you a better understanding, you know, get the wheels turning on how you can start earning a living and making money online. So stick around and we'll get started. Okay guys, welcome back. And I'm glad you're here for this marketing tutorial. So this is sort of my take on digital marketing so this is a beginner's guide walkthrough of digital marketing and i'm going to use um, a brick and mortar you know physical store as a comparison of how we do it in you know the online way compared to uh the physical way so there's going to be <clears throat> you know you, I, want, I want you to use your mind you know to get get your brain wrapped around how we do it in the digital way compared to the physical way of a store you know just like a uh, Walmart or um, anything so let me open up this sketch pad now <laughs> I've never used this before but <clears throat> this will be the first time and I think it's a pretty neat tool you know I've never used it in a video before but I usually use draw IO it's another um, app that you can just grab little icons and move them around to explain stuff but we'll try this and see how it works so again I want to get you thinking of an actual physical um, storefront so let's ooh, that looks like a cupcake <laughs> so all right so that is the physical store let's say it could be Walmart Target let's call it Target um, and in this physical store, you know, here, let me make the street here. Here's the, the road. Uh, here's a car. I'm not an artist, guys, but bear with me. So, <clears throat> that's a car. So, just like, you know, in, in the physical world, the real world, we'll, we'll drive, you know, we'll, we may say, hey, uh, let's pull in a target, you know, just look around. <clears throat> well, you might see a person out here holding a sign, you know, holding some kind of sign saying 50% off, you know, or something uh, off of shoes, right? 50% off all men's shoes. Well, and you see that, wow, 50% off, let's pull in, see. Well, then you get inside the store and... You might, right before you get in, while you actually get into the entrance here, you'll have another person. I'm sorry, guys. That's my dog in the background playing with her toys. Um, you'll have another person here greeting you, like, right in the entrance of the doorway, you know, <clears throat> passing out a card, maybe. Here, here's a, here's a card for, you know, whatever, the 50% shoes, or it could be something totally different that they're <clears throat> selling in this show, in this store. So now that's two points now. So now we're in the store and <clears throat> we'll have another person. Back in the day, they used to call them floor walkers, but now I guess they call them sales people. They just walk around. Back in the day, they used to walk around with a little carnation in their um, suit or lapel <clears throat> and they would, you know, uh, try to hard sell you like you know, if you're going in, say you're just going into browse, you know, they would, you know, try to get your brain working and, you know, to get you to actually make, <clears throat> make a purchase. So they'll, they'll have to go by a script. So they'll have to know, you know, what the latest prices are, what's on sale. They'll have to know, you know, they'll have to do some research. Pella, excuse me, guys. One minute. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, you know, so they'll have to to know a few things the floor walker right just like these three so then we move on you know that's another person now we got a little say we got a person here selling or passing out samples so this person is passing out perfume samples so samples oops sorry that <clears throat> So you get it. So there's somebody there doing samples. So that's another point, right? We're walking through. Now, up here, we've got a speaker, if I can, you know, the intercom that comes piped in from the surround system or whatever through the ceiling here. 
through this they're playing music and they can be running that 50% off um, offer the same thing off of shoes you know through this um, microphone thing now there's somebody that creates that and there's somebody that you know um, edits in the advertisement and changes it and all that you know that's their job so that's another marketing point inside of a physical building right so then we continue on and <clears throat> so on so we may get you know to the outside we went through the whole store and we're in the back parking lot of Target and we see another gentleman passing out flyers on our car he's putting these flyers on cars so that's another uh, job you know now say we still we don't buy or whatever where we see this you know it's so we go all the way to our home so we're back at the casa at the house so right this is our home we open our mailbox whatever it looks like all right mailbox and we get a coupon that says 50% off oops the shoes or whatever <clears throat> so and it's another person that creates all this so let's see how many people we got we got one two three four five six seven and I probably forgot a few you know there's probably more you know that's just what I can think of real quick but that is all the effort that it takes to market this store you know Target Walmart Lowe's Home Depot Best Buy whatever this is all this is called a marketing you know network or process or whatever you want to call it now each individual job so to speak you know has its own um, funnel we'll call it a funnel <clears throat> because that's what we'll, that's what we call them in the digital space we'll just call them a funnel so they've got their own set of responsibilities just like you know they have to some are easier than others like I granted it it's much easier probably to pass out flyers on cars than it is to create and edit these um, audio um, music and um, promotional stuff you know so this is a different pay level this is a different pay level uh, this sample person is is you know it takes preparation you have to do your research you have to understand the product that we're sampling and stuff so that's you know pays a different thing that has to be another <clears throat> that's another um, um, situation this also this flow walker has got to have his own you know um, understanding of what's selling and what's on sale and what the person needs so he's got to go for his training and stuff so uh, just like this person so this person may not have that much but he still have has to remember to hold this sign correctly you know so it's facing cars you know so there's a lot that goes with that so basically what I'm saying is each one of these individual points of marketing has a funnel or some sort of of <clears throat> well my pen quit some sort of tasks that you must complete you know tasks that that must be completed uh oh <laughs> my pen must be completed but anyway to you you guys get the gist right and that's what I'm gonna create I'm gonna use this example to show you how we market in a digital way so on the internet now now I don't know you know you guys I'm I'm in my late 40s some of you probably are younger older but when I first got started online and when I was first matter of fact 20 and 20 years old or whatever my grandfather and different people you know other older people around me would say that internet is just a fad it's not gonna you know stick around it'll be burned out nobody likes that stuff it's just too complicated you know and you know it's 
they would say that it's not going to, but the internet is here to stay, guys. The internet, we couldn't live without the internet now. <clears throat> it's so much ingrained in our lives that it is part of how we have to deal with uh, life on a daily basis is digitally through the internet. <clears throat> so face it, the internet is not going away and the sooner you understand these sales, this sales process online, same concept, just we're doing it in a different way and we don't have to worry about these physical bodies. So we're living, a, we're eliminating a lot of stress on us as the owner of this company, right? We don't have to worry about uh, Sam getting sick or Susie getting pregnant and taking time off or Bobby uh, hurting his back or, you know, whatever. So we don't have to pay as much. We don't have to, we don't have the responsibility. So it's like so much more profitable for a, 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 a business owner to do it the online route versus this what we do but they still do this so now let me close this out and open up some pages to show you <clears throat> you know how to get started if you would want to get started um, marketing and then I'm gonna create a small little funnel just draw it out for you to show you how to get but I wanted to show you these examples and I created a folder somewhere right here um, let me just open all of them open all so and let me close this other window my processor <clears throat> is is throttling for I mean I've upgraded to a see it's throttling it's at a hundred percent right now um, I do have a better processor but I do a lot of editing and I do a lot of intense processor work I do, and um, I'm waiting on my graphics card to get back from I'm getting it worked on but anyway so I'm stuck with my Ryzen 3 right now but it'll do it's got the built-in graphics and uh, it'll work for what we got so okay so this is Walmart this is a known brand I'm gonna show show you some of the you know the affiliate programs and how to get started now Walmart you can't just go to like walmart.com let's see like say you go to Walmart's homepage and you look you, it, you can't to my knowledge I never I haven't clicked all these links but I couldn't find nowhere to become an affiliate for that for them on this particular page so what I had to do was I done a little re research and you have to type in Walmart affiliates and it's at the very bottom there um, and of course you don't want to click on that you you know that's an ad because it says it right there so that's going to take you somewhere else so it may take you a few tries to find this particular link right here home of the Walmart affiliate program drive sales earn commission and that will link you back or redirect you to this page here so that's how you get it set up for Walmart <clears throat> uh, and they're gonna have their own set of tools and guidelines on how they would prefer you to promote their products you know so there's a lot of different styles a lot of different tools what I recommend is you don't uh, you know don't try to take all these sales things on at once so don't try to do this this and this and this and this and this and this you know even though standing outside holding a sign may be easy right you don't want to do this do this do this and do because you'll 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 come to a point where you're ca they call it information overload and you won't know diddly squat I mean your brain will be like mush because you're trying to balance too much and I know I've started like that back in 2010 it was like man well why can't I just try to do everything and have money coming in for all from all different directions <laughs> and it's just 
So for me, it was just impossible because I was, you know, you can't do it. You just, I really, really honestly recommend that you pick one of these styles. So if your style is, you know, standing out, let's, let's use for instance, standing out, holding this sign, right? That's your style. We'll stick with this until you're profitable, right? So in the digital world, this would be maybe creating an ad, you know, and you posting on social media or something, just a, a, a banner ad, you know, that's, that's showing them something to get them to buy something. So that's, we're just using that. So master this until you see, when you see sales, you know, once you start seeing, oops, my pen, money coming in, then you know that it's working. Don't get started with making these banners or these Facebook, you know, banners or whatever and you're, you know, flashing them and you're tied up with money because it costs money or it costs your time and you're not seeing any return on your time or money. Don't do that. Try to master this style. Once you master it, then you can move on to something else. For instance, passing out cards. So in other words, this is another form of marketing. Say you get inside of different groups like Facebook groups or Instagram or different, you know, meetups and you pass out these uh, pre, you know, these cards. Or, but this is all digital, of course, like in a Facebook group, you'd be posting a little card, you know, with something and same thing in Instagram. So until you master this and this style and you, you're comfortable with this style and you start making money, don't jump to something else. Now, I, myself, my style may not be your style. I may not be able to do, let's say for instance, samples. I may not know or even like to give people samples of products, right? Samples. I can, I may not even like that, you know, so try it, you know, if it doesn't resonate with you, forget it move on to something that you enjoy so if i enjoy creating audio and creating you know it may be more work more work but the payoff because i'm, I'm going to get better at this the payoff for this is going to be much greater and people are going to be much more happier to hear this than me stuck at doing samples that something that I don't like and I just I'm just doing it just because it's you know whatever paying the bills so uh, find something that you gravitate towards something that you find really really appealing inside of this whole you know online thing and you know stick with that then venture in you know a year two three years once you got a bank account that's bringing in cash say hey this is working right now let me try this and introduce all this then you can get like the big boys and have all these marketing points running inside of you know the digital space so don't don't do that take one at a time again take one style at a time whether it be you know um well <laughs> you guys get it so i know i probably stress too much anyway so their tools that they'll give you here at Walmart and their guidelines are going to be what you need to focus on until you see success now I grant it I'd say give it at least 30 to 60 days with each of these styles that you know that that I'm showing you each of these platforms so once you set up with Walmart, now I'm not part of Walmart. I'm not affiliate. I'm not tied to none of to. Well, there's a couple of here that I am that I'm signed up for. But let me tell you, I signed up for them. I got information overload because I thought back in 2010 that I can do everything. You know, I can do this, do that. And of course, I ended up doing nothing because I got so frustrated and overwhelmed again. So <clears throat> if you're just getting started, pick one of these so pick Walmart say you know and set that up and then follow their tutorials and instructions on how to promote their stuff and they'll walk you through it okay then Amazon so of course now I am a affiliate of Amazon but that's you know because I'm in e-commerce and eBay and stuff but 
Uh, with Amazon, you do have to create an account. And once you have done that, you go down to the bottom of their page. 90% of them are going to be on the bottom of the page of the product home page. <clears throat> the second column here, you'll see become an affiliate. So that's Amazon and that is um, Walmart. Here's Target. Target is also at the very bottom. But you'll see these uh, arrows here. Click on that arrow and it's pop up will come down and I mean you scroll down and you'll go to this affiliates click on that and get started and follow their guidelines max bounty now there's products out there that you may you know that are not some big name stores you know there's a lot of independent products you can even buy a private label product you know people do things like you know buy stuff from China and put their brand on it and stuff like that you can promote those type of products uh, this is more sort of like an <clears throat> a native ad network I believe you know like I'm not approved for this I've never you know tried to um, do anything in this but it is an, an option for you if this is something like I'll, I'll show you some ads of what these are these are more like pay per action so let's go back to our drawing um this guy on a pay scale this guy standing out here holding his sign gets paid regardless if you buy anything in target right this person for instance might only get paid if you you know if she gets rid of five samples or she gets an email address after she gives you a sample or does something or some kind of action <clears throat> right this person may get <clears throat> only get paid once you buy a physical product so there's different plat you know different avenues and different structures of getting paid I believe this max bounty is more of like you get paid per action like they call it CPA so if somebody you know inside of your website your funnel or whatever clicks on a certain link and performs an action whether it be an email address a survey or whatever they ask you to do then you'll get paid for that so they don't necessarily have to buy the product for you to get paid in this type of marketing <clears throat> so that's one there that's max bounty and of course before you try to get approved for these because in the past you know I've done a lot of research on this um, you don't want to go to the like max bounty and say hey look I don't have nothing you know I'm just getting started I don't even have a website you want to at least have a website some kind of you know digital real estate somewhere that you can you know tell them that you're gonna be displaying these ads or you know you know somewhere where you have an audience if you have a Facebook audience Instagram some kind of following so to speak you know of something you know tell that to them because they're gonna contact you and you're gonna have to do approval process and all that stuff with this now Walmart knows others that's a little different you, you don't have to go through that extensive but this is a little different this max bounty um, so that's that Warriors Plus is a great one. It's one that I create products on and I'm an affiliate. You know, I promote offers all the time. You can earn a lot with these. I have been dormant for the last probably six months in this uh, platform. But for instance, if you, once you sign up, get a PayPal account, all of these, by the way, you need some type of banking account, whether it be PayPal, whether it be, you know, something connected to the actual back office of the products because you're gonna now don't get scared away when I say taxes you can use your social security number and don't worry about taxes I'm not a lawyer guys but don't worry about running as a, as a business you know calling yourself a business until you actually are a business making money you know a lot I mean enough to where you're you know when you need an accountant then you need to worry about all that other stuff running as a business but right now you can just run with your social security card and earn profit because as long as you don't exceed a certain limit per your <clears throat> you know your country and your um, your laws of the you know I don't know how that works and everywhere but you know you don't have to even worry about that so don't get scared away when you fill out that process when they asked you for 
uh, you know, bank, uh, bank account and your social security number and all that stuff. That's just part of the real world and doing business. You know, if you do something out here in the physical world, it's the same thing. You have to show some kind of, <laughs> you know, credibility of what, who you are. So they know that you're a real live person. So anyway, this has more of the online information marketing, so to speak. So you can see some of these headlines, uh, get paid to watch TV, niche domination blowout yeah so these are more of like people that you know their own creators that want to explain and how to do something you know show you their style and strategy on a certain way that they earn a living that's most of this and there's probably a lot more but like i said um there's a lot of uh stuff in here in the marketplace but i guess the but anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on that, but that's that. Purefly is another one, kind of like that Max Bounty. You can come here and set up an account and get started with this. And of course, this will, they're going to ask you, well, do you have some kind of real estate, you know, uh, digital real estate, at least a website, you know, uh, Facebook ads. You have to be grounded or at least familiar with some kind of, way to get an audience with this type of you know don't just go there just to sign up and you know because if they see that your account is dormant for so long you know they'll just boot you out anyway so don't <laughs> don't do it until you got you know some kind of real estate and that's what scares a lot of people off is because they don't you know they get overwhelmed when they take on all this different stuff and there's a lot of moving parts to all this digital stuff you know all these links and connecting pages and graphics and all this it's just you know so stick with one style so this is how you would set up this is sort of like that warriors plus but it's a little bit uh bigger it's i'm not going to say it's better it's just a little bit of a bigger they have more categories i believe see they have all these that you can once you've signed up with this particular zoo JV once you're set up there they call them JVs like joint venture partners so you can you know click up sort of hook up with them um, promote their products uh, and those you know everything's uh, in the back office there so that's all self-explanatory once you get set up with that this is you don't need all you need is a PayPal account you don't need to be pre-approved and all that stuff once you uh, have set up your account and your PayPal and everything's working the particular product that you choose to promote may you know depending on that product they're gonna put you on a you know 30-day wait just to make sure that you're not sending them you know crap clicks you know where people that use bots and they use you know bogus cards or they return and all that so that's why they give you the 30-day process so you know so the returns don't kick in because you can there's a lot of people that create these algorithms that will hit the you know hit, hit all these different things and look like you got a bunch of sales and and then the next thing you know the cards were bogus or they're they're returned so there's a lot of things like that so that's why they'll put you on a 30 day or 14 day or something like that depending on what you know what it is so that's how that works now this was commission junction back in the day I mean I haven't been inside of this back office and this website for probably uh, eight or nine months I want to say um, they did ask me if I wanted to keep it going or something I got an email but I didn't really look it over but because I was, like I said, I've been doing my physical job and then doing e-commerce. And that has taken most of my time. But I have set up an account with them. They used to be Commission Junction. Now they're CJ Affiliates. So, uh, you know, they have different products, different stuff that people go to them. Like, you know, say for instance, at a company, uh, auto responder company. I know Get Response. To promote them, you can go through this uh, CJ affiliates and promote to them. Uh, there's a lot of different offers. Like I was promoting stuff from my website um, for my religious stuff. Uh, Catholics come pray the rosary. There's a lot of Catholic, um, uh, like Catholic dating sites and stuff like that in here. So it's just a uh, you know a whole bunch of stuff. So you can set your account up and get started with them and 
you know if that's a good style for you again pure fly is that we went over that and ebay of course ebay is at the very bottom of their site i believe it is the se yeah second column i'm an affiliate of ebay also but so those are the only two that i'm really two or three that i'm connected with um so ebay is pretty straightforward they'll give you all their tools of course you need the same thing paypal account with that um let's see okay let's open all these here let me close that one page oh it didn't it didn't open a page okay so while these are, are opening opening let me make a new drawing here delete that so this I'm gonna show you the funnel process So here's a nail. Wait, one more. I gotta get my pen set up. So these are all pages. So here's an ad. Here's a landing page, bridge page, whatever you want to call it. Here's an offer or website. This is the product website. So this is a basic, simple, the simplest funnel you can do. The ad, take them to a page where they put in some kind of email address or complete an action survey, and then it redirects them to the actual customer product, Walmart, Target, you know, whatever you're selling, eBay, Amazon, so-and-so. I'll explain to you how I've used this particular funnel in the past um, there's so many different things you can add to this you know you can add another page here um, we won't talk about upsells <coughs> and down sales because <coughs> that down sales because that most of the time we we're not going to worry about that that's taken care of with the actual person that, that the product the product creator, the product owner is going to worry about the upsells and downsells. So you have to make a decision, you know, once you've promoted that product to see, to check and see if there's an upsell or downsell. So you have multiple times to get paid. Upsells, downsells, then it just keeps going. And it can keep going, you know, ever how long, you know, they have related products. Now, sometimes... In the make money online niche, they get a little out of hand with this upsell funnel process. They just keep going and going and going. But what this does is when they purchase, they give them complimentary stuff for another price add-on. So let me close that and show you uh, Facebook ads. So let me show you just a quick Facebook ad. Now this is, okay, here's one so you'll see sponsor now sometimes you can't tell a facebook ad from a regular just a post uh but you know whatever this is oberlo is it takes only a half a half an hour to start your online store so he's doing some e-commerce stuff what is wrong with my facebook my internet or something i don't know oh there we go Okay, so that's a Facebook ad. Um, you can create one inside of, just go to your Facebook and you have to create a Facebook page. You know, manage pages and there'll be a process in there. There's something called Ad Manager if you, you know, know how to use that. But that's inside of Facebook. So that's an ad there. Um, eBay, when you're shopping around on eBay, let's see. Here's an ad. All these are ads right here. Uh, right here. These savings could fit like a glove. You know, Geico, get a quote. Uh, video game, blah, blah, blah. So, so these are ads on eBay. And eBay will do that <coughs> discreetly. No, not discreetly. But say you click on this page here. Here's this uh, movie. 
So, well, there's no ads here. Oh, here they are. See. So all these are ads, and of course they're not loading because I guess my processor is throttling. Let's look at it again. Yeah, look at that. See, I'm maxed out, guys. I don't know from what, to be honest with you, but anyway, so these are ads. I'm gonna, I guess I got too many windows open. Uh, Google ads. Let's see. So let me show you a Google ad real quick. What is going on here? Jobs. Work from home. Let me just stop. Let's see. Okay, so I don't know why I'm not seeing no ads, but oh, because I'm in news. <laughs> <clears throat> so see these little ads here? It says ads. So <clears throat> these are Google ads. Now it's a process. I've never made a Google ad or created one, but there's an easy process to it. Um, everybody talks about Google Keyword Planner, and <clears throat> you can you can um, Google that or just type it in keyword. And don't click the ones with the ads because that's not going to take you there. They're trying to sell you something. Um, Google Keyword Planner. So this is anybody that has like a Gmail account. If you're looking for words that you wanted to, um, you know, uh, see how many people are searching for that inside of Google, then um, this is it. Just click this, find a word, type your word in, and get started. Or if you don't see this, come up here to Tools and then go to Keyword Planner. But this is just, you know, Google AdWords, and it's it allows you to create a little ad. I've yet to do it. I I keep putting it on the calendar for my next thing to do. Now I've done Facebook ads. Basically, I've done Facebook and I've done one other type, which I'll show you, and and then uh, that's about it. So I, I have yet to do this, but I know a lot of people have talked about it. Uh, and it is helpful now YouTube ads are really good too so that's a process that you would do with uh, that I already showed you the ads in eBay Instagram so this um, is sort of like an ad here I guess you know you can create an Instagram ad anyway um, <coughs> excuse me here Instagram build your business on Instagram and you can get started running ads here so uh that's through instagram and i'll leave i guess i won't leave links for that stuff because you guys can google stuff like that you know if you wanted to run ads you have to of course create your account first and then you know go to that platform inside of your account and try to run it create an ad so we've done that we've done google Here's Udemy. This is what I was telling you about what I've done, you know. So this is actually you paying somebody to send an ad, a message to their list. So these are supposedly people that are already established with an email list. So they already have done that process that I, uh, well, oh, I didn't show you this process because, uh, so this email this page here so there's our ad this is the page here well this is the landing page and this page captures performs an action and captures the email so the email address goes into your or can go into the company's however how you set it up there's like I said there's so many ways to set this up depending on how you're marketing but you have something that is an auto oh, what am I doing I'm using the mouse auto responder oops anyway you know what that is so this is an email client and it's just you know your your own <clears throat> email um, file server you got a part of a server and you your all these emails are stored on that all the ones that go to this page so the type of ads this is is those people already have humongous 
lists of buyers and people like that and you just get your offer you know find your offer whatever it is and come back and say hey was this could you sell can you know put this on your list and they'll say sure you know and I, how many times do you want to click and the, and that's how it works it works a little different so you can study that get set up with that you can even promote this and then what's last Craigslist so if you wanted to you can come in here <clears throat> and do marketing ad pro and create ads inside of Craigslist now these are free organic they kind of call it organic stuff so for instance if I was selling a hair dryer I would come into the beauty thing right and I would say you know put my little ad there and when they click I'm sure in this you know there's different ways you have to do it I don't think you can link out to different pages As a matter of fact I'm sure you can't so you have to you know leave a an email address or text or something so that is that um so yeah that's it guys so let me oh no it's not it let me just show you a little bit more of this funnel so inside of this funnel so what we're doing we already have an let me delete that so we got an ad here right we got a landing page and then we got an offer down here from this page we got an auto responder dang it that's what captures the email so in there they get their email address so this we need an audience so <clears throat> say for instance <clears throat> say for instance I'm selling uh, a microphone on eBay right this is eBay and I wanted to get people to see my microphone I would create Facebook ad, Instagram, whatever, Instagram, Google, whatever, you know, whatever those, that email swipe, what was it called, Udemy, uh, Bing, I don't think I showed you Bing, did I? Oh yeah, I probably didn't show you Bing, let me show you Bing real quick. Uh, my page is low, let's see. Let's see, I should have some. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, this is a Bing ad, guys. A little. Uh, so, they take a headline here and all these here on the side. They call them click bait, like bait, like you're catching a fish. So, this is an ad here, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, you can get ads on all this stuff. These are really, really like, you know, it's a whole different. It's kind of hard to explain, but they're getting ad, they're getting clicks from the big from somebody running this ad. But anyway, it's it's just really crappy stuff. But this is called clickbait. You know, Rich the Kid and Usher involved in studio arm robbery report. So it it makes me want to click on that. And if I click on that, then bam, they're cookie. You know, I'm cookied in and and I'm I'm down in their funnel. So you know what I mean. So that is that kind of market that's a whole nother process but I just wanted to show you Bing that's how Bing ads are run and it's the same setup there so okay so now I'm selling this microphone on eBay so I would create one of these ads and this ad could be an introduction you know it's got to be something appealing so most of the time we're giving stuff away nowadays I mean some people don't when they got a great product and it's selling good they're not giving you nothing but some people try to you know give give people stuff that benefits them you know it's all about benefiting the customer so in this ad I'm gonna say get your um, so I'm selling a microphone so I'll say something like learn the three things to drink before starting your studio recording you know and people will be interested in that so people that are you know interested in creating a recording you know or doing YouTube videos they're gonna be like well hey I wanna know what to drink so my voice ain't all cracked and rasped or I can say something like how to soundproof your 
you know, bedroom to sound like a quality studio. You know, download this free guide here. That's all I'm saying in this. Once they get to this, you know, learn. I'm saying download it here. But once, once they've clicked on that, click here. It's going to redirect them to this page. And this page is going to have a little more content. And content is going to be, oops, whatever. You guys get it. Content could be a video or it could be, you know, some text out there saying, hey, thanks for clicking on that ad you know the three things that you shouldn't do for or that you need to drink before you're doing your recordings is this or by the way download this PDF you know you can structure this page in a number of different ways but we're just gonna you know structure that's why I said there's so many different moving parts in this that you'll get overwhelmed if you try to do too many things at once so stick with one style so basic thing you know hey get your free uh how to how to make your bedroom sound like a studio download now by the way if you're working on a studio check out this high profile microphone here and it's going to redirect you once you know once you enter your email address to get you know the pdf is is telling you how to how to work with your um, bedroom to make it sound like a studio you're automatically in the autoresponder so you're triggered and then you redirect to this eBay offer and then inside of this I don't have to send you to the eBay link I can create a page you know and I can uh, put some more videos and a text I can do an image I can talk so much more about my microphone and this microphone can only cost 30 bucks you know or whatever but the effort that I put into hyping this microphone up is what gets them to buy so I might have paid a dollar you know or I might have did a five dollar ad but ad budget in Facebook got them here gave them this free thing that I just created you know three things on what to drink or how to soundproof your bedroom and that could be a quick video of me talking or it could be some text of me you know I, they got text-to-speech software now where you can talk in your text you know and give them something that's helping them that's complementing this microphone so then you know instead of taking them to the offer which next I would probably most people do take them to the offer but I would create another page hyping up my offer a little more but you can structure this any way you want then if we're gonna be promoting affiliate products then uh, we don't have to worry about this step here because all we're talking about is getting them from the ads to the landing page and then to the offer the affiliates Walmart and all that that's a whole you know whatever product we're promoting they take care of all this let me scratch this off let me just do they take care of all that guys and they even take care of what's called the the upsell so the upsell is this is the offer upsell is here up oh and then that's another page so you bought the microphone microphone oops or you didn't buy the microphone either way you're gonna go to this next page and it'll, it'll redirect you and then if you don't want that there'll be a little link here click here if you don't want but they make it real small so you you know search around the page forever but then they'll take you to a down sell with another page and if you don't want that it'll be another link real small to click and so on and so on and so on they can keep going with this funnel process so that is a the first one is the front end offer the others are back end offers they call it so guys I hope that helped and that was just my take a basic you know understanding so for beginners to get started earning some income online through digital marketing so I hope you enjoyed it if you did like the hit the like button and <laughs> Subscribe guys, talk to you later. You get to hear me now.